Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And it has been a stormy morning across eastern Oklahoma. We've seen some flooding rainfall in many locations. And again, we're seeing flash flood warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings. We have tornado watches in effect for parts of eastern Oklahoma. So a lot of activity ongoing. And we know with a little bit of rainfall, we're going to see some significant problems out there on the roads. And we have several of our storm chasers out and about this morning. Derek Massengill is out there as well. And we want to go to Derek right now. And Derek, we were looking at your stream. You were in Broken Arrow just a few minutes ago. What have you seen so far since you've been driving around the Tulsa Metro over the last couple of hours? Well, something we haven't seen for quite some time, which is a lot of water. Um, we've been driving back and forth on 101st and trying to see where the flood areas are. As uh, you well know, the 101st down towards Garnett, where I'm heading now, is always a flood-prone area. Uh, Broken Arrow, 101st between County Line and the Creek Turnpike, and a little bit further east uh, to Anita Road, uh, is, has got water crossing the road in several places. Uh, right now, the bar ditches are just full, and if, if it's a low-lying area where the water can cross the road, it will. Um, and so everybody just needs to be careful and slow down. All right, Derek, appreciate that update. That's on 101st down in the Broken Arrow area, and Derek's been driving around there all morning long. And in fact, not only here in the Tulsa Metro, but anywhere south of Tulsa, we've seen some significant problems. Take a look at all these warnings now. In this dark shading of red, that's flash flood warnings that will go through the early to mid-afternoon hours, generally from Tulsa down to the south. So anywhere from Tulsa to McAllister and over to around Holdenville, all the way over into northwest Arkansas. That's where we're seeing some of the most significant flooding, and the reason is this is where we've seen some of the heaviest rainfall over the last few days. So any rainfall that moved into that area causing additional problems. So the flooding is going to continue through the afternoon hours. Also have a tornado watch in effect for far eastern Oklahoma. All these counties shaded in yellow behind those flash flood warnings. That extends over into western Arkansas. That runs until 4 p.m. this afternoon. We still had the flash flood watch in effect area wide through 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So still the potential for more rain, more thunderstorms moving in as we move on through the afternoon hours. Let's take a look at the radar for you. Storm Shield radar still tracking some moderate rainfall, not severe across far northeast Oklahoma extends up around Nawada, extending over to around Vanita to the south and to the east. Now it's moving right across areas of Grand Lake, extending into far eastern Oklahoma. These are not severe, but they are producing some heavy amounts of rain. You notice back behind that, we have flash flood warnings through the Tulsa Metro, especially from around Highway 412 and points to the south, and that extends all the way down into southeast Oklahoma. So the activity we're tracking right now, southeast Kansas through Vanita, extending down right around the Uchi area. So that'll continue working its way off to the east at about 35 to 40 miles prior. This is not severe, but it's what's to the south. It's much stronger. In fact, as we move south of the Westville area, right into areas of Sequoia County, northeastern Sequoia County, now east of Salisaw, extending further down, we have a severe thunderstorm warning and we have a brand new tornado warning that we're looking at. Uh, Brett, it's just come out here over the last minute or so in far east central LaFleur County. I mean, this is very close to the border. You can see where it's located. The border of Oklahoma and Arkansas is right there. So we're talking right on the Oklahoma Arkansas line. This brand new tornado warning. This would be north and east of Poto for this area of rotation. We'll look at it here in just a couple minutes, give you some updates on that as it moves over into western Arkansas, but extreme east central of Florida County. That's where we have this tornado warning just to the south of Rock Island. You notice it is to the north and east of Poto and right there on the Oklahoma Arkansas line. It is moving off to the northeast at about 40 miles per hour. So this will quickly take it across the border to around Slaytonville, six minutes out and you notice Hackett, Arkansas, 21 minutes away. So again, right there on the Oklahoma Arkansas line there in LaFleur County. That's where we're seeing that activity. As we expand things out again, this is going to move off to the east. This whole line is going to move into Arkansas within about the next 10 to 15 minutes, and we'll see improving conditions for a time in all of eastern Oklahoma as that line moves on out. In fact, as we're looking at our downtown cam, we're looking back to the west, and you can see actually some clearing way off on the horizon there. So we will see some breaks, a little bit of sunshine possible through the afternoon hours, and that'll set the stage for more showers and thunderstorms possible through the afternoon as we start to heat that atmosphere up again. 64 degrees east southeast wind currently at 14 a high humidity level as we look through the morning hours we haven't seen much of a temperature range at all with the rain pushing on in a mix of 60s and 70s where we're seeing the heavy rain we've dropped back into the 60s out to the west where the rain pushed out early this morning we're into the 70s across central sections of the state so on our high res future track there's that rainfall far eastern oklahoma it'll continue moving away but you notice more showers and thunderstorms possible through the afternoon hours moving in from the south and southwest we can still see strong to severe storms through the afternoon into the evening Evening. Then we're going to track that cold front as it moves across the area. The front itself as it moves through, just a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms redeveloping on that front. Otherwise, we're just going to see 
more showers, more thunderstorms through the afternoon. In fact, parts of southeast Oklahoma could still pick up two to four additional inches of rainfall before this thing finally winds down later on tonight and early tomorrow morning. We could also see some severe weather, still a slight risk for severe weather this afternoon and evening. Enhanced risk of severe weather in far southeastern Oklahoma. And then tomorrow, it all pushes off to the east. Temperatures today generally running in the 70s, so we will see mild weather as we'll see those warmer temperatures building back in. For tonight, temperatures will drop back into the low 50s behind the front, so it will be a cool overnight with a breezy northwest wind. And then tomorrow, Brianne, let's celebrate some sunshine. How's that? Lower 70s. Dry weather continues on Tuesday, but guess what? The rain returns Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with highs staying in the 70s. All right.